this shit live? Tap, tap, tap on the microphone. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, hold on. Wait, it, I see the trailer. Wait a minute. Okay, stop playing the trailer. Play the stream. Yeah, live in zero zero. Wait, am I live? Oh yes. Oh good. Okay, I just got an advertisement. Ah. Okay, hold on. Shh. shh. All right. We're gonna start officially in like just give me one minute. Okay. Yes. All right. It's here. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. All right. Three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kikanobi, and we are officially live here in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. We rented out an entire auditorium of the local high school to put on this explosive uh, battle extravaganza of so many matches, a Royal Rumble of 30 mystery competitors, and a grudge match between Kikanobi, the owner of the channel, and the contestants the test participants he put through the Kudaro Person Survive series. It is an extreme ball. It is an exponanza. I am very happy to see you all here. I have an entire setup. I've been working on this for actually weeks. Hello, everyone. Let me just shout out the people I see. I see the Jeff, Samuel Hayden, Vince Renzo, NG, NSG Mommy. Uh, can I go home now? Um, you guys can get Burger King if you want. Uh, hello, Burples, Power Player. Everybody, I'm so glad you're here. Our first matchup is very exciting. We have the crewmate versus hell diver in an alien extermination match. We actually got one of the hell divers from Super Earth and a crewmate that just crashed outside, but luckily we were able to get them both to sign a contract and they are going to fight today. It is going to be amazing and it is a no holds barred match. It's going to be explosive and I cannot wait to see how these two competitors face in the ring so i'm very glad that you're all here oh this has been a hell of a thing to set up so uh we're currently in the setup this is the first uh match is about to start zoom 7k how are you all doing yes we were able to avoid one high school and uh you may notice that there's double cameras of me talking uh don't don't worry about that. One is slightly delayed, but we had enough cam we had enough to actually like you know capture my live reaction as I talk. And the audience is behind me. You can see there are real people behind me. Look at the people. Look, they're talking. They're happy. They're living. Everything everything's good and fine. Oh, looks like we have our first match. The Hell Diver, the representative of Super Earth. He's here. 
What a beautiful soldier. Unfortunately, we were not able to get his cape. Oh, what a magnificent. What the hell? What? The crewmate just interrupted the Helldiver's intro. You can't do that. They're fighting on the ramp already. What the hell is happening? Guards, guards, get the ramp, get some. This is illegal. It, uh, well, the Helldiver is already like getting the smack. He missed the elbow. It already, the crewmate is just out for blood. It's just betraying and backstabbing. Guys, take this into the ring, please. What is happening here? Oh, now the Helldiver taunting for Super Earth. He's talking to the crowd. You can see they're so excited and so alive. Oh, beautiful reversal. Oh, the Eagle Hell Drop. Oh, nice reversal. This is a dangerous place to fight. Like, if one of them lands on the, the steel barricades, that's easily a broken rib. They both are wearing armored spacesuits, but still, I would not want to... My goodness, that was a beautiful German suplex. A second one. Is he going for a third? No wonder all the, the crewmate ships uh, keep crashing. They're practicing their wrestling moves instead of engineering. Oh, you can hear the helmet punch from here, all the way back of the gymnasium. Oh, two, three, four, five, five head butts, or helmet butts, five helmet butts. Use a stem! So far, the hell diver seems to be doing pretty well. He's holding his own against the crewmate. The crewmate has not pulled out a gun or a knife, or his alien arm. That was an incredible toss. <laughs> this match might consist completely on the ramp. These two are really trying to kill each other. There's no decorum. They're, in fact, they're punching each other back onto the main stage. Oh my god! The 500 kilograms. The crewmate has to be an imposter. He interrupted the Helldiver's introduction. That's just... He's trying to break his neck. This is... This is a homicide. Call the police. Ooh, that's... That could be a broken elbow. <laughs> the crewmate just put up his boxing gloves. <laughs> I swear, the crewmate has beautiful suplexes. He, he may be an alien commie bastard, but he has amazing suplexes. <laughs> the fact that these two, oh my god, they're just fighting on the ramp. <laughs> they're just beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> this is not a, this is not a match. This is just a brawl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the crewmate seems to... He's walking away. Now he's taunting. Oh, I... Okay, I guess they... They reached an understanding. They're... They're calmly walking to the... The stage. Okay, now he's out. Okay, now we're back to trying to kill each other. We just knocked them into the metal steel steps. Now the Helldiver putting on his taunt and salute. Now that we're finally in the stage, we have a real match. The referee is here. Oh, he's about to call down. Oh, beautiful spear. Apparently it did. How did the Helldiver get knocked out? That was your move. What? What? Uh, a classic stratagem fumble from the Helldiver. You hate to see it. Oh, 
Two. Oh, that was a close two. That was a close three count. Uh-oh, the crewmate's waiting for him. The hell diver trying to recover. He's out of stems. He needs to call down supply drop. All the same move once again. Oh no! Super Earth just lost another crusader for managed democracy. The imposter interrupted, broke through the hell divers main introduction welcoming the people to the first match of kenobi mania and then pulled out the victory that, that you hate to see illegal moves win the match but that's what happened i i'm i'm shocked i'm so sorry ladies and gentlemen that the first match was so was so illegal so wrong uh but the hell diver he put up a valiant effort no reinforcements no stratagems on a alien terrain of a Washington DC high school gymnasium. He definitely got the job done tonight. Ah, uh, the imposter yeah, laughing maniacally in all his commie alien glory. Super Earth truly took a loss this day. It's very tragic, it's very tragic. But you cannot deny his amazing suplex form. No matter how alien and evil he is, he is good at suplexes. Well, gentlemen, I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect our first match to be so bombastic and explosive just straight out of the gate with uh, interruption. Uh, we didn't even, I would love to see what the imposter's introduction, his intro walk-in was going to be. But you know what? He came here just to fight to win the match. Unfortunately, the Hell Diver is indeed going back to hell. Uh, and he was not able to, uh, oh, maybe he didn't go through, uh, training. That's why he didn't have his cape, the Hell Diver. He didn't pass through mandatory training. He tried to, uh, sidetrack it. We're gonna have to, uh, talk to the, uh, reinforcement budget to see exactly who did they send. Because, I don't know, I think maybe, like, a veteran, uh, Hell Diver probably could have done a little bit better. But, that's not here or there. We have another match coming up, and it is the Tubers and Tables match. This one is... Highlight YouTubers from across the ages of the platform. We have Markiplier, the king of FNAF, Dream, that guy from Minecraft, AVGN, the angry video game nerd, and Matt Pat, the guy who reads, uh, who read every single FNAF book and, uh, diagram and journal and game and text dialogue to try to understand the FNAF lore. God bless his soul. He is coming out of retirement for this tables and tubers title match i'm very excited and you know what before this match starts this will be a wonderful time to place your bets of who do you think is going to come out of this four way all of them are fighting each other there are no teammates in this just like the youtube algorithm it's a brutal bloodthirsty free-for-all of trying to get the most views and revenue try to see who will win and who will take home the title what does the title do? It doesn't really do much, but it looks really cool. I spent a lot of time designing it, and the game crashed on me three times. So, I really hope whoever wins appreciates the time and effort I put into making that title. Alright, we got people uh, looking at Matt Pat. We got people cheering for Markiplier, and... Looks like we're starting. Who is going to be first? Oh, I know that outro music from anywhere. It's Markiplier! What the fuck is this announcer? It's not Wait, called the Action Championship. Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. It's called the the, it's the Tuber Belt. It's the Tuber Belt. Mark I Piper. Mark I Piper. Okay, get this. Whoever this announcer is, I want to know who hired him, and I want a refund. Mark I Piper. Unbelievable. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We we spared some expenses to try to get all this big name talent. Oh, Matt Pat, uh, a fellow FNAF tuber. From Ohio, weighing in at 275 pounds. 275 pounds? My goodness, retirement has really been kicking his ass. 
my goodness, he looks ang- Um, this is the angriest I've ever seen Matt Pat. Oh, oh, somebody just mentioned Golden Freddy in the audience. He's staring a child down. Okay. Okay, I think we need to be careful with the FNAF jokes around him. I, I think it- Oh, somebody else just mentioned- Go, oh, my goodness! Someone just mentioned the bite of 87. Um, okay, nobody mentioned Gregory as a robot. He might actually leap through the stands and choke someone out. Oh, wonderful athleticism. Now, he has been retired for a few weeks, so he might have actually had some time to do some wrestling training. Who knows what kind of moves he's going to come out with this. Alright, let's see who is our next competitor. It is Dream, the man with the mask and the Minecraft stand Twitter. The audience, as you can see, is mostly comprised of them. Uh, we just mentioned that we rented out the stadium and he was showing up and a thousand people showed up outside. We had no control and they all bought the tickets. We're very happy that they showed up, but it, it is getting a little concerning of how quickly they arrived. We, we had to set up the chairs. It, it, uh, uh, I, I don't want to even tell you about the production of this, but I'm very glad he's here. It was very nice of him to show up. Oh, it's the AVGN! The angry video game nerd, his music is playing. <laughs> he's got the pocket pens! AVG and there he is, the angry Atari Sega nerd. A classic, iconic, standing the test of time, still uploading to this very day. This man has been here. He is a staple. He's an icon of YouTube gaming reviews. Amazing person. Who let Dream in a school? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, wait, alright. The Tuber Belt! As you can see, very round, very YouTube. This is easily a- this is a 10 million subscriber bonus, whoever gets the title belt. Okay, now both competitors are going at their rivals across the aisle. Matt Pat picking up ABGN, Markiplier throwing Dream into the corner. Dream using his athleticism. Oh my goodness, Suplex is flying outside of the ring. Now, as a reminder, a tables match means that you have to set up a table and send an opponent through the table. Whoever sends an opponent through a table wins. So, for example, if Markiplier tossed Dream through a table, he would win the match and the title. But if you accidentally fall through the table, whoever last hit you wins. So it is a very precarious situation. You have to beat up your opponent and set up a table while also making sure you don't fall. And AVGN putting Markiplier in an arm lock behind his back, trying to break his gaming arms. Oh, trying to take away his title of King of FNAF. Matt Pat trying to rip off the arm of Dream. The belt looks copy and pasted. That belt looks like shit. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, get the guards. Get those, get those rowdy people. Oh my goodness. Oh, Markiplier, his upper back landing right on the rim of the table. That would have hurt if it hit just the mat. Markiplier winded. Matt Pat is just going full throttle, putting AVGN in a leg and arm pull and smashing his head. He's wearing glasses, Matt Pat. Have respect for your YouTuber elders. Oh my god, Dream just tried to do a somersault outside the ring, fell right on his ass. Markiplier and Dream taking the fight outside the ring. Mark uh, Matt Pat is putting AVG in, in another leg hold. Who is Dream? Dream is a Minecraft stand YouTuber, and he just did a, a backflip somersault on Markiplier. 
Oh, the table is in play. ABG and slamming Matt Pat just like he did in Atari in that one episode. Ooh, missed the kick. Dream almost could have sent Markiplier through the table. ABG and... Oh! Matt Pat just slammed ABG and through the table to take home the title belt. That was such a frenzy. That was such a blur of seeing all these competitors. Matt, it seemed like the main fight total was Matt Pat versus uh, AVG and, and Markiplier versus Dream. The two FNAF lords respected each other's personal space, and Matt Pat, straight out of retirement, wins the title belt. Honestly, if anyone had to win, I think he deserves it. After all his years of sacrifice of trying to read FNAF books, he deserves a win. He deserves a win. Ladies and gentlemen, that match was a complete blur. Like, the first one of the Helldiver versus uh, Crewmate, that felt like uh, watching, like, two drunk guys beating each up outside of a bar. But that match that we just saw, that was skilled technician. There was heated throws of debates and, like, people screaming at each other. Of They wanted their own favorite YouTuber to win. And honestly, I think the YouTuber that won deserved it. He had beautiful technician skills. He really put his retirement to work for training, and I think it really showed off and paid off. So I'm glad that he got the title, which was a very hard-looking title, and it was very skilled and crafted anyway. I will not hear anything else. The next matchup is <laughs> the Symbiotic Brawl, Venom versus the Spider-Man. Straight out of Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man 2, we have a rematch in the ring, not in the streets of New York. We're confining it. Venom versus Peter Parker and Miles Morales. They are going to team up again in a real 1v2 match against Venom. And I'm very excited to see how this is going to play out in open field. There's no anti-venom, no electricity, no tendril powers, no sonic booms. There's only pure fist. This is going to settle the debate. Can Venom actually win versus these two scrawny spider people? And I believe it is a... Uh, what kind of match is it? It is a... It's just a tag team. It's a tornado tag team. So both competitors will be in the ring versus Venom. So, three people in the ring. It, it's going to be a little tilted, but, you know, Venom is technically two people himself. The symbiote and the host. Depending, I don't actually... Do we get a confirmation on who actually is Venom's host? Is it, uh, Harry or is it Eddie? Okay, uh, apparently they just, uh, my guy off screen just said the only name that they gave was just their Venom. So, we don't really know who, who it is. He's wearing a gooey suit with a bunch of teeth, so we're just going to let him do his thing. Oh, I hear Eminem as the intro music, so I need to kind of talk over this. There he is! It's Venom! There he is, the symbiote Scourge himself, the king in black. Either he's a disgraced journalist or he's the son of Norman Osborn. We're not too sure exactly. Oh, okay, never mind, it's Eddie Brock. He apparently told the announcer. Who the fuck is my announcer? Okay, I need to have words with him. Can he not share the secrets to everybody else, please? That would really help me in doing my job better. That's all I'm saying. 90s? Well, apparently he wanted to switch up the look. So I guess, you know, I guess uh, Harry Osborn's Venom is dead, so we got this other one. Oh, there he is. Marvel's iconic poster hero. Why he blew? I don't know. He tried, he he changed up. He just let Venom be Venom. And their opponent from Queens, New York, weighing in at 180 pounds, Peter Parker. Wait, how do we turn off their spider senses? Uh, we're playing on um like honor rules so they can't turn off the spider senses but they can okay they can have their spider senses but they cannot have their superpowers so peter cannot use anti-venom and he cannot use his tech miles cannot use electricity and venom cannot use his tendrils whatever senses they have they can continue to use that everything else is a no-go and there's an ad there yes there is an ad we have been monetized we we had to pay the bills for this don't worry you're still in the intro 
Now, granted, if you had YouTube Red or if you uh, became a member of the channel, maybe you wouldn't see the ads, but they are skippable, so you should be back by now. Why couldn't we get the Marvel's Capcom 3? Uh, because the production didn't think of that. Can I go home now? There he is, Miles! Thank God he is not wearing his in-game suit, the dumb Colgate one with his hair out. This is a much better look for Miles. It looks very good. Oh, look at that acrobatic. The hero of the Spider-Verse. Was it too expensive? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We're getting ready. Venom's getting pumped. The two spider people are in the ring. Venom already out with the kicks. The backhand, the direct disrespect to Miles specifically. Oh, what is this? He's got him in his thighs. Peter getting some uh, revenge from Miles. Miles getting the booty back from Venom. Uh, he bats in the booty back to, to Peter too. That that seems to be his go-to default uh, reflex move. He's got him in the thighs too. What the fuck is this Venom? <laughs> what is, oh my God! Miles with an RKO. And Peter just taking out his rage right on the face of Venom. Though Venom is, like, he is severely handicapped here. Granted, he is, like, twice the size of both of these uh, competitors, but there is two of them. Technically, Venom is two people, too, but... Miles seems to be adding in support. Oh, my God. And the athleticism. <laughs> Peter seems to be just drawing attention from the crowd, hyping everybody up. Oh, a drop kick right to the back of the spine. <laughs> okay, these two. Did, okay, did they get infected by the symbiote? Because they are beating the shit out of Venom. Like they're they're trying to squash him. All right, trying to at least submit him, trying to get him to you know back down, calm down. All right, that didn't work. He immediately went for the knees. Oh, beautiful. Miles up on the ropes using his spider athleticism. That was very close. That could have been it right here and there. Honestly, that still might be it. I don't think Venom has enough juice in him. The bro looks completely washed. Like, he, he does not look... Oh my god, they're just sh sharing blows back and forth. Miles, he's posing up top. Literally, Peter is kicking Venom's ass. <laughs> like, he is literally kicking him in the ass. Campfire plays. This is live footage of the matches. Miles getting ready to assist. Oh, the kicks. I swear, these two spiders, they are perfectly in sync. When one beats up Venom, the other one poses and hypes up the crowd. They are here for promotion and for ass-kicking. This is a jumping! This is not a match! <laughs> oh god, I thought Venom was gonna put up more of a fight! <laughs> oh no! Can Venom do anything here? Oh my god, what? As he breaks out, Miles interrupts him. Oh! He has to be breaking some teeth with those punches. Oh my god, Peter, Peter! <laughs> Peter, it's okay! There's a human under that! And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Venom finally catching a moment. Nope, there goes the moment. It's gone. Oh, okay, no, he might be back. Oh my god, they're actually comboing him! 
Oh my god, Miles with the backflip, and he's returning the favor. Oh my god, it's a combo. Oh, he has to be dead. I, 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 I think he killed him. But she's punching him in the neck. He's punching him in the throat. Both of these two only see triangle and circle above Venom's head, and it will not leave. They have infinite finishers, and they're just using them on him. Oh, he, they got Venom dangling his legs like a baby. He is crying. He is in pain. He needs help. Call, Myst call Craven. Call Mysterio. Carnage. Anybody. Call somebody. I've never seen Venom get so mollywopped. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he just picked up Miles like a toy. Oh, and he dropped him on the ropes. Peter not accepting that disrespect. Venom might actually be coming back here. My goodness. I don't know. There's no way. That's it. Miles, with an extreme act of support and athleticism, came up from behind, backflip into the pin. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. I swear, that was... <laughs> that was... That was... That was brutality. That was... They were way. They wanted the Venom Scourge, the Symbiote sur Scourge, to be off of this planet. They just they beat him down to the cells. Here are your winners. Okay, I believe New York, but under the Spider-Man, is probably the safest they will ever be. Don't you dare try to rob a car or jaywalk, because these are the heroes that will hunt you down and find you. My goodness, um... Wow, I don't know what to say, that was, uh... <laughs> you, yeah, like, they might have been spiders, but they were the ones doing the squishing. Um, so I got a memo that the former general manager and head of WWE is stopping by, uh, Vince McMahon. Granted, you may have heard some things in the news about him, uh, considering all the crimes and illegal stuff and actual evil things he's done, but he's actually stopping by to, uh, actually, we don't know why he's stopping by. In fact, we don't really want him, but he kind of just said he was showing up. So, I guess, uh, should, should I pull a seat up next to me? I don't want him next to me. He's a freak. Did you hear about the things he did? I don't, I don't want him here. Why is he here? Why is it every year we have some weirdo that shows up? Like, last year it was EDP, and then he got beat up by God. I wish that would happen this year. But, yeah, apparently Vince McMahon is showing up. Uh, I don't know. He might be here right in time for the Royal Rumble. Who cares about him? He's so old, and he's weird looking. But, yeah, that's here. Uh, but we just finished... Excuse me? <gasps> it's, it's God again from the back lot. God has showed up again at Kenobi Mania in the back lot, and he is beating up some man. Could it have been the badly foreshadowed Mr. McMahon that I just did? He's holding him up! He's dropping him from heaven! Onto the concrete. God, as our bouncer, is going two for two in years of defeating people that showed up that we did not want. Giving them the beatdown that they deserve. If the legal system won't do it, the creator will. With the shovel! McMahon just took a shovel to the stomach of God. And the back of the head. God dodged out of the way. Swing and a miss. Mr. McMahon <laughs> trying to fight. He's in a three-piece suit right now. God in holy robes. Now, they are fighting on concrete. There is no padding here. Oh, you could hear that from you could hear that punch from hell. Mr. McMahon, as he does in all things, defying the will of God, grace, and humanity. He's picked up the shovel. 
Oh! Right! God just used his powers to deflect the shield. <laughs> He's doing a stunner on God! <laughs> A god, a man versus a god versus man, man versus god match. That was a pure drop on solid concrete. His back has to be broken. Die. I don't think Mr. Man has prepared himself. Oh, he just fell like a sack of potatoes. Mr. Man throwing god up onto the ramps. Picking up the shovel again. God just plowed right through him. God is like currently 10 feet tall. Just picked up Mr. McMahon. Uh oh. Oh, he's getting ready. Oh, sweet. Mercy. Uh oh. Is he doing it? Uh oh. He's doing the tombstone! He's going for another move! Mr. McMahon is trying to fight, but I don't know how he's alive. This dude is pushing 80. I think he's just fueled by pure evil and disgustingness. Do you actually hire God to be a- He kind of just shows up. I'm very happy that he does. <laughs> yeah, Zeus- Okay, this is God- Versus Mr. McMahon, the former owner of WWE who's been accused of many sex crimes and general being an asshole to everyone that's ever worked with him. Also, probably personally uh, strike down one of my videos from a few years ago, which started the whole idea of Kenobi Mania. So I'm very God that I'm very happy that God himself has shown up to beat the shit out of Mr. McMahon. It's a long time coming. And speaking of which, I think Judgment Day is right here. I think he's dead. <laughs> okay, apparently the medics just arrived on scene. Um, he's dead. Yeah, uh, okay, if God kills someone on property that I'm renting, am I liable to that? Am I liable? I think that's above, like, the, you know, the local district court's jurisdiction, honestly. I mean, I think we should just kind of let that one go. Uh, anyway, what, what else is on the bracket? Um, huh. Oh, yes, the Titan Clash. Speaking of gods, now we're on to Titans. Um. No, yeah, 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 I'm getting backstage report. Yeah, the medics say they can't save him. He, he, he's gone. I think he slammed his soul straight out of his body into hell. So, uh, yeah, it, it yeah, that's over. Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, the next match is the Titan Clash, a 2v2 classic tag team match of the Monsterverse Titans from the newest movie promotion, Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. We didn't get the promotion, but we're just doing it in good faith anyway, because we're nerds here. Uh, we have Godzilla and Kong in a tag team versus Scar King and Shimo. Now, they're not allowed to use their super abilities, uh, as in a whip, Big Fist, Laser, and Ice Laser. They're not able to use that. But this is a uh, kind of... We're running it back to see what how these two these two equally matched teams will fight in, you know, the Kenobi Mania classic power dampening ring. Can God suplex you? Possibly. I don't think you want to have that happen to you. But it is very, it is very possible. <laughs> now, if you remember, uh, last year God showed up to uh, beat up EDP. Um, and the match lasted way less, obviously. It was a very short match. God won, obviously. Uh, and this year he showed up to, uh, beat down Vince McMahon. So, I'm, honestly, I don't even know, who, who would he beat up next year? Who would show up unannounced to get slapped by God next year? I'm, anyone, it's anyone's guess. This is gonna be good. There it is, the GXK Godzilla X Kong doing a synchronized introduction. Look at them, they're pals now. Yeah, maybe they destroy Tokyo and they also fucked up the pyramids, but now they're buddies. Oh, amazing uh, Titan Ape athleticism. 
and Godzilla's new evolved form giving him giant, beautiful hops. <laughs> Dan Schneider. <laughs> yeah, Dan Schneider should get beat by God next year. You know what? <laughs> uh, you can see Godzilla's uh, purple spines in the back glowing. Yeah, they're actually, uh, Godzilla and Kong are now friends and buddies now. Granted, Kong seems to be the more social one. Godzilla seems to just be here for a fight. And there is Shimo, the largest ice titan and Scar King, that lanky Kong-looking dude. They're here. Shimo looking uh, way more enthusiastic being here, probably because she isn't doesn't have the the uh, ah, the crystal whip hitting her. So. Wow, uh, this is a clash of the titans here. <laughs> wow, they fucked up the outfit. Listen, it's very, very hard to make monsters, okay? The easiest you can do is just put two people in a gorilla suit. Which we didn't, by the way. These are actually the real Godzilla and Kong. We just shrank them down. Oh, right off the- The ref is down! Scar King just immediately backflipped and kicked the ref. Got Kong- Godzilla is trying to finish the match immediately. But the ref is trying to recover from taking two monkey feet to the face. Godzilla just picked up Kong, uh, Shimo and tossed her. My goodness, I have never seen Godzilla be so athletic. <laughs> Kong trying to put the Scar King in a chokehold. It seems like they are fighting by species. So it seems like the two great eight titans are fighting each other and the two reptilians are also going at each other. This is similar to the movie, and Shimo has knocked Godzilla off the ring. Kong's the only one standing, or sitting. Scar King trying to get a cheap, easy victory. Kong is already on the two count. Oh, right on the belly and the spines. Oh, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, so no matter where they go from the right here in the gymnasium to the very bottom of uh, uh, Hollow Earth, if the referee can get there and count to three, they will get the victory. Scar King showing his incredible athleticism, getting Kong uh, tripping. The camera, oh, Godzilla not even knowing, he just saved Kong from a, a super finisher. Kong, <laughs> about to, he's throwing, he just threw Scar King right out of the ring. And apparently there's a sword or something in the ring. I don't know what it is. It looks like a big stick. What is that? All right, Shimo trying to get the pin. The ref is too distracted. He has to get in, but he gave Godzilla enough time to break out. Kong putting the palm, the giant hand. If that, if he was able to use his Kong Beast Glove, that might have won him the match already. Oh, oh, this is going to hurt. Godzilla has the big stick. <laughs> Both Godzilla and Kong have their opponents in a pin. Is it a baseball bat? Okay, it might be a baseball bat. It looks like both of the teammates are like getting their respective stamina and they are fighting ferociously. Oh, Scar King doing a pin, but he did not complete it. Shimo getting distracted by Scar King. They are not a good tag pairing, especially not with the Whip Crystal not in play. Kong throwing Scar King off his high horse, his pedestal. Uh oh, looks like we're changing dance partners. Godzilla, Scar King is afraid. He's trying to run. Godzilla's not letting him go. Oh, Kong, he finally has a weapon. He has, he doesn't have the axe, but he's good with weaponry. What else do we have? Scar King pulling out a stick. Smack Godzilla right up the head.
<laughs> I think Godzilla's about to. He just threw him on top of Shivo. Kong using the hammer. Yep, we have officially traded uh, fighting partners. It is now Lizard versus Monkey on both sides. Godzilla seems to just be slow walking away, leaving Kong in between these two competitors. Godzilla with the big stick once again. Right there. It seems it broke. Drop kick right to the chest. This new evolved form of Godzilla is way more acrobatic. And Godzilla just eliminated the Scar King. Now, because of the rules of this, it does not mean one pin equals a victory. You have to eliminate everyone in the team. So now it is a 2v1. A stick was broken upside Shimo's head. I feel really bad for her because she really didn't do anything wrong. She was a slave technically in the whole movie, but I don't think they care about that right now. They didn't hear the bell. And Godzilla's hammering her. He, he, he won't stop with the hammer. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so scared for Shibo right now. Oh, so but just pin her quick, just please, just just pin her quick in the so he he's trying to break her neck. Oh my God, they tagged him. He choked her. Godzilla came in with the flying elbow. Thank God that's over. Oh my God. Yes, Shimo is a girl in the movie. She is a female. But God damn, Godzilla said these Titan hands are for all genders. He does not care. He is the king of the monsters, and uh, hell, Kong earned his king title too. I swear, this Kenobi mania has just been full of jumpings. Oh, look at them. They're finally bros. It just shows that in the heat of battle, anything can be resolved. The bitter of rivalries can come together when you're kicking some other third party's ass. I swear, you know, this has definitely been the Kenobi mania of jumpings. We had uh, the Helldiver getting jumped right from his introduction uh, by the crewmate. Uh, we had the audience jumping Dream because they didn't like him. We had Venom getting jumped by the two Spider-Man. Vince McMahon getting jumped by God himself, and now right here at the end, Shimo getting jumped by Godzilla and Kong. Incredible, like, incredible violence happening here. All for free for you, except maybe a few ad breaks, um, here live on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> live instant replay of the misogyny match. <laughs> listen, listen, it was, it was balanced. But speaking of, this is not the final match, because the next one is the real doozy. The next one is where the mystery and the intrigue happens. Because the next one is the 30-man mystery Royal Rumble. That is right, 30 competitors, all mystery, randomly selected, all creative characters, no actual real wrestlers showing up here, and apparently everybody just got an ad, so that's perfect timing too. Be sure to skip that ad. Uh, yeah, the the 30-man Royal Rumble match is coming up, the second big main event, and then after that is the Could a Real Person Survive grudge match, where Kid Kenobi, actually, holy shit, he's about to get jumped too, because it's him versus three other people. Oh, I hope he's been training. I hope he hasn't been spending all his time trying to uh, edit a live stream main event. I hope he actually been practicing some moves. We can't control what we are. You know what? Yes. Ne uh, so next Kid Kenobi Mania is going to be better planned far in advance. And I'm also... Because this is currently being uh, filmed on WWE 2K22. It's the one with Rey Mysterio in it. So they turned off the servers early last year. Okay. Let this dude tell you how uh, Royal Rumble is going to go. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. 
Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Uh, actually, uh, scratch that last part out there. There is no real victory. I mean, if you win the Royal Rumble, you just win bragging rights. There's no other WrestleMania event that you get. It's Pepsi Man! The first competitor is Pepsi Man. He's from Yemen? Wait, I'm sorry. The Pepsi Man is from Yemen? Okay, I, I, I didn't expect that, but okay. Pepsi Man's from Yemen. Now, typically in a Royal Rumble, you would prefer to be picked in the late 20s or hell, best of chance getting pick number 30 because that means if Pepsi Man wants to win, he has to survive 29 other competitors coming into the ring at full freshness and physicality ready to toss him out of the ring. So getting picked early in this is like losing the lottery. It's really, it's not great. Alright, so, Pepsi Man is first up in the ring. He apparently has covered the entire camera with Pepsi. I wish we were seeing some Pepsi advertising uh, revenue from this, but I don't think we are. And this secondary opponent, apparently turning out all the lights in the stadium. Oh, who could... What is that? The Master Chief from Halo! I don't know why he has a, like, a Louisiana, like, 1900s lantern, but that's the Master Chief! Is this Koozie's theme? Yes! Uh, the Yakuza themes of different battles have been in the background for a majority of these matches. I'm very glad you picked up on that. <laughs> yes, it is the Master Chief. He seems to be defrosting from his time in space because he is taking a very long time to get to the ring. Did you use International Love for Johnny Cage's intro music? I cannot legally say if I did or not. I could only say it would be really cool if I did do that. Master Chief, please, or do you need some oil in that super suit? Uh, in your uh, Milnir suit? Is Cortana in that lantern? Like, was is he just having a whole private conversation? Yeah, he's the Halo Taker. Yeah, he's he's just straight up taking Undertaker's entire walk vibes and theme. <laughs> Somebody in the audience is saying, "Let's go, hurry up!" That was an actual guy. He just said, "Let's go." No, no, no. So what happens is, uh, it's going to be these two do their full intros, and then. There's going to be a counter that appears on screen, and then when the buzzer rings, they just blitz right down the track. We don't even cut the camera, and they just jump into the ring, and then it's just fight, 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 fight. All right, Master Chief, hurry up and say goodbye to your digital girlfriend. There we go. Oh, no, is this the TV show Master Chief, or is this the game lore Master Chief? Uh-oh, uh, did we get confirmation? Which Master Chief is this? Well, I guess we'll find out. It is Pepsi Man versus the Master Chief. The Royal Rumble match has such a rich history. Now, once again, as a reminder, the only way you get eliminated in a Royal Rumble is if you get knocked outside of the ring and your two feet hit the ground outside of the ring. And every 60 seconds, there will be a new competitor tossed into the ring. It could get completely full. There are no limitations, no holds barred. It will just be random chaos. Pepsi Man with a beautiful reversal. Okay, this might be the TV show Master Chief. He just got slapped right to the ground. Oh, counter. Already, we have a new competitor coming in in the next five seconds. Homer Simpson 
That is number three. My goodness, he looks so bright and yellow. He just did... Master Chief just did a backbreaker on Pepsi Man. Thankfully, I think Pepsi Man is made completely of Pepsi, so I don't think he has a back to break. Homer was trying to get him... Oh! Master Chief with the suplex reversal. Homer Simpson not giving up yet. He missed one move. He might be drunk. He just tossed Master Chief, the seven-foot-tall giant, in superpower millionaire armor. Isn't Homer like 50 or 60? And already we have a new contestant coming in. Nobody has been eliminated yet. We do not know who the first elimination will be. And the next one is Dutch Vanderlyn from the Vanderlyn gang. Here he is. He's got a plan. He's going to win the Royal Rumble, Arthur. Do it a kick to Pepsi, man. All oh, with the spear from Vanderlyn. All right, Vanderlyn is immediately trying to get Pepsi Man out of the ring. Pepsi Man's not taking that. Just doing combos of punches and elbows. Vanderlyn seems now is the best time to emote. Oh, a spinning... I, he, he just made Homer Simpson bleed. Homer lifting Dutch, dropping him on his back. We still have no elimination, and Pepsi Man just returned the backbreaker to uh, Master Chief. Homer Simpson trying his hardest to toss Vanderlyn. He's on the ropes. He's not Goku. Was that Goku? It's Goku from Dragon Ball. Dutch Vanderlyn has been the first person to be eliminated by Homer Simpson. Homer trying to break through Master Chief's helmet. Pepsi Man going one-on-one -on -one with the great one, Goku. Just did a choke slam. Pepsi Man trading blows with Homer Simpson. It's incredible that Pepsi Man is uh, is able to still fight after being the first competitor in here. So, same with Master Chief. Pepsi Man up on the ropes. Oh my god, another competitor. It's just coming out so quickly. Ghostface from the Scream franchise and Pepsi Man got caught emoting in the corner. Now I remember from the last uh, Kenobi Mania, Ghostface was, uh, he was a problem. He stayed in very long. He was very athletic. Let's see if he can repeat for this year. Currently, Ghostface trying to uh, use his athleticism and smallness. And Ghostface seems to be the smallest guy in this ring. Oh, Homer Simpson and Goku are tag-teaming Pepsi Man, and it worked! Pepsi Man has been eliminated, and Ghostface just made Master Chief bleed. Pepsi Man uh, pissed off outside the ring, but he was first in, so he was not expected to stay in here long. Homer Simpson now betraying Goku. Their, uh, their alliance, temporary alliance, turned deadly. Ghostface... Just did an incredible back kick to Master Chief. He is probably going to be the second person out of this thing. Spring trap, Michael Afton. Coming into the ring. Master Chief is completely dazed right now. It seems like the two serial killers are going at each other. Master Chief, big hand to the top of Homer Simpson's head. Homer, for some reason, is hanging outside of the ring. All someone needs to do is kick him out. Can Springtrap come back from this? 
He seems to be having a little bit of trouble. Now he's getting tag teamed by Goku from behind. Homer, I think, is trying to eliminate... Oh, Master Chief used his big muscles. Goku hanging out there. Goku been eliminated by Springtrap. All the Chi power-up uh, and Dragon Balls of the world could not defeat Springtrap. Homer lifting and dropping Master Chief on his uh, knee. Steve Harvey is now showed up in the ring. Okay. And apparently the crowd is booing him. Why do you people not like Steve Harvey? All right, Master Chief. Uh, oh, oh, that was a very close elimination. Somehow Master Chief is still in here. Truly, he is the hero of humanity. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Springtrap just activated some sort of jump scared ghost fart thing from his mouth and just knocked Master Chief unconscious. I think it's Master Chief just powered through and teamed up with Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey trying to take on, uh, oh, oh, a double elimination. Steve Harvey tried to fight Springtrap alone valiantly but got tossed, eliminated, and then was, um, Fucking uh, Homer got eliminated too by uh, Ghostface. And Dr. Robotnik is coming in next. Stone Cold Stunner from <laughs> the Ghostface. How is Master Chief? Oh my god, Go uh, Ghostface just eliminated the spring trap too. He just sent him flying, and his, I guess his, his uh, corpse robotic body didn't have enough juice in him to pump the brakes. Master Chief somehow has time to emote while Ghostface is kicking the shit out of Eggman. Master Chief just taking a, a rest, a breather, but Ghostface, he's tricky. He's coming up from behind. Eggman snooping as usual around the fight. Oh my god, Master Chief has him in a chokehold. He's choking, he's punching him in the gut. Master Chief is... How many competitors has he outlasted at this point? We're already on number 10, but now it is Spartan versus Spartan. We have a Spartan in the ring. We have Kratos versus Master Chief. Let's go, let's see it happen. Eggman has... Oh. Eggman eliminated Master Chief before him and Kratos could fight. I'm... I gotta say, as an announcer, I'm disappointed. And Ghost... And Ghostface just eliminated Kratos! Alright, well, I guess those two Spartans can just fight outside the ring. What the fuck just happened? Kratos, the quickest I've ever seen him lose a fight, and it was to Ghostface. Ghostface up again, out the road, stomping right on Eggman's big belly. Ghostface just seems to have, like, precise, lethal abilities, while Eggman is just tanking all of the shots right now. Oh, that has to hurt. Homelander is showing up to the Rumble. Representing the seven and bought industries. It seems he was not allowed to have his cape in in the ring. He looks very weird without it Oh Eggman very correctly going right for the eyes trying to blind Homelander so he can't use his laser vision A spear from Eggman into the chest of Homelander Oh, Eggman dropping Ghostface right on his knees. Oh my god, where did this energy come from, Eggman? He must have the Chaos Emeralds. Both competitors are down on the ground. Eggman's the only one standing. I don't think Homelander has really gotten any hits in. Oh, he might get... Nope, nope, nope. Homelander, notoriously bad fighter, the Predator. Oh 
Oh my god! And he just grabbed Homelander up the ass and dropped him on his knee. And Predator coming in to pick up the scraps for his hunt. How is Ghostface still alive? He's been beaten up by Eggman this for like for the past five minutes. Eggman not finishing the job, instead switching to beat up Homelander. Very curious tactics. Ghostface is still stunned. Oh my god, everybody's coalescing on Eggman. Eggman is the biggest threat right now. Homelander flying high. Ghostface trying to knock out uh, Eggman, but he's backfired. He, he he's still here. He's not giving up. Homelander trading blows in the corner with the Predator, knocked him off his feet. Steve, which Steve? Who's Steve? Steve Harvey? What, what Steve? Who Steve is this? It's Minecraft Steve. It is a Sunday. Kenobi would be streaming Minecraft usually, but instead, Steve has shown up to the Rumble! He's fighting Homelander! Ghostface just tripped in the middle of the ring for some reason. Ghostface is now getting vengeance on Eggman. Nobody has been eliminated in a while. It seems like everybody is just bloodthirsty. Nobody is going for eliminations. Oh, the high drop. Eggman with a, uh, a sweet chin music to the Predator. Why is Steve so buff? It's because of his max carry weight. And I, I think Homelander just eliminated Ghostface. Did I just see that? I need to review the footage. And, and Eggman holding up uh, Homelander. And uh, the, the Dark Souls Knight, the Ashen One. He's used to unfair battles, so he fits in perfectly here. Yes, it was Homelander that eliminated Ghostface. Eggman with another sweet chin music to the Dark Souls Knight. I don't know if he has any Estus on him. Eggman hyping himself up to get in the corner. And the Predator posing right back! Eggman doing a combo on Minecraft Steve. Homelander trying to fight the Predator, but the Predator's too uh, crafty, he's too skilled. Minecraft Steve on the ropes, Predator beating up Homelander, the Dark Souls Knight seems a little bit confused, I think he's lagging out. His inputs were bugged. The Predator lifting Homelander, he's about to send him flying, he just killed him! Oh, what a shame, Superman! The Man of Steel was just shown up, and Predator seems to be bouncing his head on the ropes for some reason. Cal L, the Man of Steel, the Man of Tomorrow, showed up. It would have been nice if he was able to uh, fight Homelander to show him what a real hero looks like. But now he, here he is, bringing justice to Eggman with his mighty Kryptonian fist. And the Dark Souls knife just made Minecraft Steve bleed. He's bleeding. There's a, been a lot of bloodshed in this match already. No, this is not Injustice Superman. This is classic comic book Golden Age Superman. Minecraft, Steve, up on the ropes. The Predator might be getting another kill. Another head for his trophy. Minecraft, Steve, has been eliminated by the Predator, who also eliminated Homelander. Dark Souls Knight just did a complete spin. The Shredder! Superman seems to have missed uh, his kick. There he is, the Shredder, the nemesis of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We have two armored opponents in here. Actually, three if you count the Predator. Eggman posing, twerking in the corner. Getting ready, spear to the shredder. Dark Souls Knight off the edge. The predator trying to get another kill. Once again, Eggman twerking in the corner, getting ready to spear 
the Shredder. Superman returning the favor. Is he about to? He just eliminated the Predator. Four competitors now in the match. Eggman is probably the longest standing with the most kills so far. I have no idea how Eggman is still alive. Alan Wake from the hit series Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2, the writer. Eggman getting beat down by the Shredder. Alan Wake taking his, using his, uh, his, uh, his writing skills to write himself a suplex. Superman getting lifted by the Shredder on the rope, tossed straight out. The Shredder has eliminated Superman. It is now the Dark Souls Knight, Eggman, Shredder, and Alan Wake. The Dark Souls Knight trying his hardest to lift Eggman. He's very heavy in the corner. He's huge. The Shredder going across ropes, put the foot on the Champion of Darkness. I mean, the Champion of Light, I'm sorry. Shredder getting Alan Wake up against the ropes. Uh-oh, he's tossing him. He might... He has to hold on. It's Nacho Libre! Alan Wake has been eliminated. The Herald of Darkness has been defeated. Nacho Libre is here. Somehow Eggman is still alive. I, I'm... I have no idea how Eggman is still here, but we have Nacho Libre. Eggman just spinning around the Shredder. The Shredder, at this point, made the bad decision of rolling closer to the ropes and closer to defeat. Nacho Libre using his technical abilities as a professional wrestler against the Dark Souls Knight. Nacho Libre is, he is. Nacho Libre just punching through the armor. Oh my goodness, beautiful technical skill right there. Eggman fighting the Shredder still. Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Scorpion has entered the ring. It seems that this is his MK11 attire. The MK11 version. And the, nobody has been eliminated yet. Everybody, everything is still good. Scorpion has joined Eggman on the ropes. Shredder has finally eliminated the Eggman. Dr. Robotnik has been eliminated by the Shredder. Now, it's armor versus armor. Warrior versus warrior. Scorpion versus Nacho Libre. The Shredder versus the Dark Souls Knight. Can Nacho Libre survive against the Hell Spawn? Shirai Ryu! The Shredder trying to get... He might just... He just collected another kill! The Dark Souls Knight! It's now three people in the ring! Big kick from Scorpion. Nacho Libre making the same bad decision a bunch of other competitors have. Rolling to the edge. Sauron! The Dark Lord! The Lord of the Rings! Oh my Jesus Christ, he's huge! He's... Oh, he's making Shredder look like a, a toddler. Um... I didn't know he reformed. Is, is, he, is he back from the Elven War? Nacho trying to win the Rumble for the Orphans. Uh, Scorpion is probably just here for revenge. The Shredder is here for the Foot Clan, and Sauron is here because I think maybe someone told him the One Ring was the prize trophy. I don't... They're fighting for their own personal causes, ladies and gentlemen. Scorpion from the high rise. Beautiful spin. Hell Spawn spin. The Shredder tossing Sauron into the corner. My goodness, this ring is already chaotic enough. I don't know if it can handle another competitor right now. Shrek! Nacho Libre on the corner and got eliminated by Scorpion. Shrek almost actually is as big as Sauron, apparently, for some reason. And 
Shrek using his thunder thighs on Scorpion's neck. Shrek wants a piece of Sauron too. He's trying to beat Shredder off on top of uh, uh, um, uh, Sauron. Shredder does not appreciate that. Shredder now being the, the longest man standing here. Oh, he's going to the ropes. He got interrupted by Sauron's big head. Sauron versus Scorpion, two demons. Scorpion, Shrek, who's going to get the elimination? There was confusion in the ring. Everybody got in each other's way. Nobody was able to get an elimination. These two titans. Shrek with an RKO to Sauron. Shrek has a bit of headlock. Sauron just bulked Scorpion and Shrek together. Kazuma Kirio, Mr. Yakuza, the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. The dragon of Dojima. First, just eliminated Sauron and uppercut it. <laughs> and uppercut it to Shredder. He got like three feet of air. How the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> That was incredible. And the, now the Shredder is bleeding. And, and Shrek has been eliminated. The, 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 Kiryu just showed up into the ring and sent everything into chaos. All the stagnation of fighting instantly over. The Shredder versus Kazuma Kiryu. Scorpion, Kiryu is using his rush style to dodge all projectiles. Big fist. Ghost. Not ghost space. Wait, is this ghost? As in Simon Riley from Modern Warfare? Yes, it is. We have Kiryu, Mr. Yakuza versus Mr. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. you did all the side quests. He's supercharged. Kiryu now fighting Ghost, a professional military veteran. Kiryu is used to using his fist as his main weapon. Ghost, a primary tactician using guns and weaponry. Scorpion, oh my goodness, was almost countered but reversed the counter and eliminated a fellow Spectre. Ghost is now dead. He just got General Shepard, and it's about to happen. He did the same move, and he eliminated the Shredder as well. Scorpion using the same move set. Now it's Kiryu versus Scorpion. Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots. Oh, Scorpion missed the input, dropped the combo. Optimus Prime picking up Scorpion now. Scorpion aiming for Optimus Prime's bolts. I would have never expected these three to be near the end of this Royal Rumble. Optimus Prime seems confused. He wants to respect the 1v1. Optimus Prime notoriously suffering from a jumping back in the forest during the uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Kiryu getting RKO'd by Scorpion. And Scorpion trading attention with Optimus Prime, but that might have been a mistake. Kermit the Frog! Optimus Prime lifting Scorpion. He might be able to just toss him straight out. And he did. Optimus Prime has eliminated Scorpion back to the Nether Realm. Optimus with the booty bump against uh, Kermit the Frog. Optimus for versus uh, Kermit. Kiryu seems to be charging up, feeling the heat. Kermit the Frog has been eliminated. He has... I don't think Kermit was able to throw a punch. That poor frog pacifist. Now it's Kiryu-san versus Optimus. You can see it if you ride 
Uh oh, he's charging up. He's getting ready for him. And an uppercut that sends him flying into the sky. The physicality needed to punch Poe, the Kung Fu Panda, at number 26. We're in the final rundown. There's only a few more competitors that can join this match and win the Rumble. Oh, Optimus trying to get some distance to uh, to roll out all over Kiryu, but Poe caught him. Poe just getting uh, like styled on by Kiryu. Kiryu has not used the Tiger Drop, his most essential powerful move. He probably should have used it. Optimus Prime has not been prime position. Kiryu has been defeated. These two titans, Poe, the Dragon Warrior, versus the holder of the Matrix of Leadership. Oh, there is Master Shifu's training. Oh my goodness! Dr. Phil! I, if I was Dr. Phil, I would not want to run into the ring right now. I would probably take it very slowly. Well, he's just charging right in there. He's going to try to use his uh, his tech, his uh, his psychological and technical prowess of all those years on television. He's going to try to send someone to the ranch. Oh, uh, looks like the the one Mike that might be getting sent to the ranch is him. Poe is taking out Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil over the second rope. Over. Oh, he was barely saved. Now he's getting kicked. Optimus Prime not exactly sure what to do here. Optimus using his metallic Cybertronian head to the back of Poe's panda skull. Dr. Phil punching Poe right in the gut. But that panda gut is very uh, reflective of physical attacks. It may not hurt that badly. Dr. Phil has some combos. Peter Griffin, the family guy, representing Quahog, Quahog, or Quahog, I don't know how to say that place. Peter Griffin, fresh from Fortnite. Peter Griffin carrying Dr. Phil to the ropes. Peter getting very close to eliminating him. Oh, he's on the edge. No, nope, but... Dr. Phil was able to reverse it. Not able to secure the victory. Not able to get the elimination. I swear, if he is able to make it out of this, he's going to have one hell of a cutaway gag on the next episode. I cannot believe there are even more competitors that can join the ring during this cluster, this rumble. Gordon Ramsay here to ask where the sauce is and to judge everybody's cooking and technical movesets. Gordon Ramsay picking up his fellow TV host. Kicking him right in the butt. He's seen those episodes where Dr. Phil tried to cook and was not up to par. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, oh, I think he was trying to eliminate. He's got him up by the legs. Dr. Phil's helpless. And he's been eliminated. He's been sent straight to Hell's Kitchen. All right, we have one more mystery competitor. But right now, we have three giants and one normal man. Gordon Ramsay with the RKO against Peter Griffin. Optimus Prime tossing Poe to the ground. Oh my goodness. Peter with the big boot. Gordon Ramsay is stunned, dazed, as if he just ate some bad food. And here he is, the final competitor, Mysterio, aka Jake Gyllenhaal. Poe on the ropes, punching Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Peter Griffin has eliminated Optimus Prime. Oh, 
big knee from Mysterio against Peter Griffin. Poe putting all of his weight onto Gordon Ramsay. Now, if you do not remember, Poe does have a background in culinary uh, preparation. He did work at his father's, his adopted father's noodle shop. And Mysterio, all the treachery. Just doxed and eliminated Gordon Ramsay before, before he could put the raw in wrestling. Ho dropping Mysterio. Another expert form of athleticism. Peter Griffin versus Poe the Panda. Oh, that has to stun. Uh, Mysterio, I think his leg is twitching. I don't know if he's alive. Okay, I think he's still... Uh, all right. I think he's used to having his glass fishbowl take most of the blows. Oh, getting slapped and smacked. Peter Griffin seems to really make this a 1v1 against Poe the Panda. He seems to be trying to eliminate him. Mysterio having to rely on physical abilities and not any kind of mysticism or tricks. Oh my goodness, the dr lift and drop. Uh, Peter Griffin, uh, now Peter Griffin is also an expert fighter. He's able to go many rounds for many hours against the giant chicken. And maybe he's seeing the giant panda as a, as a uh, substitute for his beatings. Oh, the panda in the corner. Peter Griffin trying to lift a Mysterio, being not helpful in the slightest. Who would have ever guessed that it would have been these two competitors, Mysterio and Peter Griffin? <laughs> oh god, these are the last two of the Rumble. <laughs> Remember people, we started with Pepsi Man and Master Chief, and now we're ending with Mysterio and Peter Griffin. Oh, 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 that probably has to end it all. Like, Peter Griffin just put the big boot right on Mysterio's face. I, I don't know how you come back from that. I, I I think this is over. I think it's over. No tricks to save him. No VFX. We have our Royal Rumble winner. It's Peter Griffin. <laughs> There he goes. That's him eliminating Optimus Prime. The big boot to Mysterio. And I don't even know what the camera guy was doing on this shot. Here is your winner, Peter Griffin. Hey, Lois, this is even crazier than the time I won the Royal Rumble at Kid Kenobi Mania 2024. Now that was a Royal Rumble to remember. That was full of highs and lows. There were cheap blows, impressive athletic skill and ability. We were teased with Spartan versus Spartan or superhero versus superhero, but that's just the fate of the Royal Rumble. You can never know what you're going to expect. In a mystery Royal Rumble, anyone can come in, anyone can claim victory from realism, television, to animated to video games, to books, to fiction. It was anyone and everyone. And ladies and gentlemen, we are at the final match of the day, of the event. The Could A Real Person Survive Grudge Match. Now, as for people that do not know, over the past few days, the Kikinobi Containment and Research Facility suffered a breakout of three of the most violent and most experimented on users. That is Johnny Cage from the Mortal Kombat series, the Joker from the Injustice series, and Negan from Tekken. And that's the only series he's from. And of course, that's the one you all know him from. Uh, they have all broken out and singled out and called out and cornered Kid Kenobi to a match at Kenobi Mania. And it is a grudge match, a three on one, all in the ring, all versus him. Kid Kenobi, can he stand his ground? Could a real Kenobi survive the Carp's crew? 
We're going to find out shortly, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to say thank you all to everyone that has shown up so far, uh, who has stayed so far, that has liked the video so far. Uh, this has been a real effort of love uh, to you all because I really want to... I like making events, even though they kind of kill my soul a little bit every time I do one of these. But it's worth it, and I'm very glad of how this turned out, and I'm very appreciative to every single one of you. And say hello to yourselves, because you are here, and you're live there on the stream. Um, so yeah, could Kid Kenobi sweep? I don't know. Kid Kenobi could win. Um, all it can, all This is not a, an elimination. This is just a pinfall. So if Kid Kenobi is able to do it, if he is able to get lucky once... He wins. And there he is. The Titan. The... This is actually what he looks like in real life. Shut up. <laughs> the following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Making his way to the ring. From the internet. The internet. 302 pounds of pure muscle. He has the Infinity Gauntlet, and ladies and gentlemen, I think he's going to need it for this. His head is fueled with rage. The fact that he's so full of anger that his test subjects could, one, dare to break out, and two, team up, and three, rebel against him in a match. But if there ever was a time to settle a grudge, it would be here, live in front of the entire world, in this gymnasium that we rented out in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Didn't Share Factory kick Kenobi's ass last time? Yes, on the last Kenobi Mania, uh, after uh, fighting... Well, Kid Kenobi has been through many royal uh, battles at Kenobi Mania. He has fought... Um, Jigsaw Beast, he has fought Mr. Big Man, he has fought Share Factory, the product itself, and now he's fighting his own series. Kid Kenobi will always show up for Kenobi Mania, even if he's outnumbered and the odds are not in his favor. There he goes saying hi to the audience. Murphy? Who the fuck is that? Oh, I hear Injustice music, that means I have to talk or else Warner Brothers is going to copyright strike this stream because those fucking assholes think they should copyright strike music from old games. Let me stop. There he is, the Joker. Don't call him the Jonkler. He already killed one of our sound technicians because they made that joke. Um, in fact, I think he may have killed Murphy too. Joe Kirk. Oh, I. you know what, audio announcer man? Um, it was nice knowing you. You are absolutely going into the laughing gas pit uh, for that fumble. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Joe Kirk. Joe Kirk. Joe Kirk. <laughs> and yes, there he is, the first man up from the Injustice series. Now, some people have pointed out that uh, it is odd that Joker is holding such a grudge because he only got tested on for the Injustice Gods Among Us, aka Injustice 1, could a real person survive series. And uh, honestly, he kind of deserved it, you know? Uh, he did nuke Metropolis in that other world. Uh, oh, and there he goes, cheesing for the camera. That's a great comedian. He just can't let go of the camera. Now, we have no idea what his fighting style is. He's very lanky. He can't really use weapons, but... Uh, he could be very athletic. He might have, uh, ew, I, what is he doing with those hips? Put those hips away. Joker. Joker, please. Harley is not in the audience. Save that energy for later. Uh -uh. Oh, is that a copyrighted song I need to talk over? I think it is. I do believe we have some international love from the Hollywood superstar. The man that's currently being tested on. Johnny Cage, the ninja mime himself, the pro athlete tournament sometimes has the glow of God killing energy, but now currently is a film director in the new era. Johnny Cage is here. 
Yes, he is here, and I did do it, and honestly, um, the fact that I have not been demonetized yet is amazing. In fact, I, it might be coming, it might be coming, but I'm still going to talk through this. So, Johnny Cage has been the test subject through all the Mortal Kombat games. He has been here, and he probably has the most beef with Kid Kenobi out of anyone. He has been experimented on from the very beginning, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11, and, wait, no, yep, it was Mortal Kombat X, then it was... Mortal Kombat 9 and then it was Mortal Kombat 11 and then Mortal Kombat 1 every single Mortal Kombat that he's in that Kid Kenobi has access to he's been the test subject for so he's very pissed off and I would not be surprised if a few nut punches start happening and there is Negan the leader of the saviors and the dude from Tekken 7 Oh, apparently he's also from uh, The Walking Dead, some TV show. I don't know. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton. You know a number of people... <laughs> Quick, recite Scott Steiner's speech to avoid copyright. You know, Johnny Cage, when you go one-on-one -on -one with a normal wrestler, you got a 50-50 shot of winning. But you see, I, I'm not normal. So you got like a 63 and 33 percent chance of winning but then you add joker to the mix and negan he's not even gonna try so you got like a 23 to 45 percent winning never mind okay the final match kikonobi just whipped his ultimate that's a bad sign all right kikonobi using his lore accurate height and muscle to uh, fight the Joker, apparently he might he might have just killed him. He's able to drag. He's just dragging him across the ring. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's alive. Ooh, Joker. Somehow I don't know how he did it, but he just knocked Kid Kenobi down, and he's calling in Johnny Cage. Once again, Kid Kenobi whiffing the super. Johnny Cage, pulling in, into the corner, using a big kick. Oh my goodness, he's going in for a second one! Oh, there's the tor there's the champion of Mortal Kombat. Wearing his $500 sunglasses, please tell me he's not pinning him already this quickly, good lord. Uh oh, alright, he's switching into Negan. It looks like they all uh, organized beforehand. They all want a piece of him, and they all want to take it out evenly. Now, Negan was the most recent uh, completed series uh, put into Tekken 7 and was experimented on by the entire cast. Currently, Johnny Cage is the current test subject of MK. Oh my god! He might have just knocked him back into the AMC series with that hit. The Joker interrupting and just not kicking Nobi off into the the, the the abyss. At the referee doing a count, if Kikonobi does not get back into the ring, he will be counted out. And Negan was just waiting for him. Not giving Kikonobi even a chance, a moment to recover. Oh, big hit, big hit. Oh, lucky Kikonobi's giant foot was able to uh, touch the rope and get a rope break. Uh-oh, Johnny Cage coming back in. Oh, Johnny Cage using those kicks. Proficient shadow kick user. Alright, looks like Joker is coming back in. Joker seems to be the weakest one, but he might be the fastest. Negan is definitely middle range, but I think Johnny Cage is the highest rank. Oh my goodness, Kikonobi on his knees. Ooh, was able to dodge. Big knee, big knee. Joker. I think if Kikonobi can focus on pinning the Joker, I think he might have a chance of winning this. Oh, Joker tried to do some kind of roll, but Kikonobi just kicked the shit out of him. And the double upper hand. It didn't send him flying this time. It just knocked him to his feet. Okay. Kid Kenobi is choke. He's he's about to man of steel the Joker. Oh, and Johnny Cage just saved him from performing a fatality.
He's going for the pin. This is kind of risky. Negan, of course, being the lawbreaker, breaking in. Oh, he's not even using the Infinity Gauntlet to punch him. Kikanobi trying to be merciful. He doesn't want this fight. He does want to beat up Negan, though. For some reason, he just stayed in the ring, not moving. I think Negan's controller lagged out. He ran out of batteries. Oh, with the choke slam with the gauntlet. Oh, now he's using the gauntlet. Okay, he just punched Joker in the face, and now he's bleeding. Okay, jo uh, Kenobi got to the roids. He's he's going through a road uh, roid rage right now. What kind of big lift is this? Johnny Cage can only look in horror. Oh my god. The slam. Now Johnny Cage could interrupt. I think he might. Oh. Yes, yeah, see, Kikunobi has to be very tactical. He has to basically knock out every single person and then get a pin. Because if anyone is still alive, they will swoop in to interrupt the count. Kikunobi could have won twice by now. Oh, and the spear! Alright, Negan is out. Uh-oh. He's going to... Big, big move, big move. Oh, Negan's getting back on his feet. Johnny Cage. Two! How was that now? Three. Ref, ref, were you paid off? Were you sprayed by laughing gas? What happened? Did Johnny Cage bribe you? What the fuck? That should have been a three. In fact, why is Negan even allowed to be in here? He has not been tagged in. Joker is still the tagged partner. Ref, disqualify him, ref. Oh, this is rigged. Kikanobi is bleeding now. Kikanobi's bleeding. Alright, Kikanobi versus Johnny Cage. This is a classic matchup, years in the making. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Uh, is he, he just tossed him right from the top onto the ground, and Kikanobi is willingly going outside of the ring. Another lift. Oh my god. Oh, the, oh my goodness, that could have been on the barricades. That could have been an orange. That could have been an orange move right there. Oh, that was right there. Oh, that was probably an orange move. He just slammed his head onto the metal barricade. Gets him with the These two how well each oh my god, and he did it again. How is Johnny Cage still moving? Okay, he could. both people could get counted out. All right, kicking is taking the fight back into the ring. Oh, and an RKO from Johnny Cage. Into the corner. <sighs> Into the other corner. And Johnny Cage with the big boot. Oh, God, he's going in again. Shadow kick. Oh, that that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if he can recover from this. Oh, no. A valiant effort. A valiant effort that probably should have gone in Kikanobi's favor uh, like a few a, a few fights ago. But, oh, God, because Johnny Cage won, I have to talk over the music again. International Love is playing again because Johnny Cage just pulled out a fatality on Kikanobi. Actually, it might have been a mercy. I, I did not. He, he just stuck with the kick. Now... The Kuda Real Person Survive veterans are all cheering each other on. Joker is bleeding. Negan really didn't do much in that entire match. Uh, but Johnny Cage, the real MVP of Kuda Real Person Survive, he's here to stand with his fellow brothers in arms in suffering as they all finally get revenge on the man that experimented on them for a YouTube profit. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we just saw Kikanobi versus three competitors. Now, I know, I know that some people are going to be like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't, wasn't the first Injustice series, Injustice 2, and then had Green Arrow, and didn't Kikanobi even be like a competitor in uh, the Soul Calibur series? Now, I would like to give you a report, an update, that says that uh, the O's containment facilities are still intact. It was not a complete breakout. Only three members broke out. Wait, this is an old report? What do you mean an old report? 
Oh, what? Are they? Are those two still in the cages, or what? It's a yes or no. Okay, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hey, hey, you, 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 yeah, you with the coffee. Come here. What do you mean that there's two more breakouts? Since when? We advertised a 1v3. It's not a 1v5. Who else is here? Who else could be here? Oh, you mean the people I I, I just talked about? Well, wait, where are they? You're saying Green Arrow and another Kid Kenobi, a, a, a rival Kid Kenobi, is on the loose as of this moment. That's what you're telling me right now. Uh, maybe we should probably pull, um, oh my god, it's, it's, it's happening, it's happening, a surprise bad Green Arrow trying to taunt as Kikinobi was on the ground, and that's a right, that's soul caliber Kikinobi. Oh my god, we have a Kikinobi on Kikinobi violence happening right here, right now. Green Arrow is... Uh, uh, slapping and beating up Kid Kenobi right now. I can't believe it. Guess it. He suffered enough. How many fights does Kid Kenobi have to suffer through? Call the damn match. Oh my god. Everybody's coming for a piece of him. Oh my god. They're trying to break his editing hand. Oh, and rival Kid Kenobi, Soul Caliber Nobi, from the top rope. It almost does look like Elden Ring Kid Kenobi, but in fact, we're not sure which Kenobi. In fact, it could be Elden Ring Kenobi, because he would probably be pissed for all the deaths in Elden Ring 2. And very pissed that Kid Kenobi hasn't gone back and edited that series down into episodes like he promised everybody. Ah, uh, Kid Kenobi got sent right outside the ring. This is... The beatdown just doesn't end. Oh, Kid Kenobi with the spear to Green Arrow. Okay, Kid Kenobi's pissed. He's just using the fist. Oh, just beating the hell out of Green Arrow. About to give him the, the Injustice Superman treatment. Oh my god, just punching the, the sides of the head. And other Kid Kenobi seems confused. Uh, he, he doesn't know how to help. Oh, the slaps! And Kid Kenobi, once again, uh, it, rival, no, rival Nobi, not assisting in the slightest. Oh, Kid Kenobi dropping Green Arrow on the edge. I don't know, we, we're not sure which Kenobi this is. This could be Elden Ring or Soul Calibur Nobi. All we know is that Soul Calibur Nobi, when he gets beat up too much, he explodes into a skeleton. So I'm not too sure which... We'll see if Kid Kenobi is able to get a victory off of this Nobi. Kid Kenobi up against the metal barricades. Slammed into the barricades. Oh my god, he's trying to pull the gauntlet off. He's trying to become the new Kenobi. The main lead Kenobi. Whoever has the gauntlet is the lead of the Kenobi uh, lineage. Oh my god, Kenobi being tossed by his cousin, his brother, his his genetic sibling across the arena. And now Kid Kenobi, the, the rival Nobi seems confused, but alright, he's back outside. Oh, looks like a little bit of miscommunication. Rival Nobi just kicked and punched Green Arrow. What about the baby panda? Well, uh, Poe uh, participated in the Royal Rumble. I think if he was uh, still conscious, he probably would have joined in on this beatdown, too. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh my goodness, Kenobi pairing and blocking. How is he able to still fight after all this? Alright, tossing him out of the ring. Looks like Kenobi wants a piece of his brother. Oh, with a big uppercut. Yep, he wants vengeance. He's angry. He feels betrayed. He's putting him back into containment. Oh, and the big slam. Uh, Kikidobi somehow is alive and fully standing. Green Arrow just had to roll out. Oh. But 
become the real Kenobi. Elden Kenobi. The, there can only be one Kenobi Lord. Uh-oh, he's using the big fist. And he whiffed! That's a classic Kenobi move, charging up your super and missing completely. That might have just spared Kid Kenobi. Oh no, he, he's out in the corner. Green Arrow coming in. Did it see what happened? Uh, he just speared. I, oh, he's dead. Oh. Uh. He killed Green Arrow. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's how. It, oh shit, he's dead. Um. Lazy Jumper! Oh, Kid Kenobi just killed Green Arrow. Uh, he regained some bit of dignity, and I think we need to go off the air because that was a homicide. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was really... Oh, that was it. That's the final match. And this one, uh, the crewmate won the No Holds Bar Alien Extermination Match. Markiplier versus Dream versus the angry video game nerd versus Matt Pat, who claimed the Tables versus Tubers title match. Amazing athleticism. Congratulations to the victor. Venom, the, oh boy, Venom got beat down hard by the two Spider-Men. Both of them using their athletic prowess to just beat the symbiote off of Eddie Brock. But Venom did put up a... Well, he kind of put up a fight in this one versus two tag team match. Now, in between these two matches was the God versus Man McMahon fight, uh, to which this uh, God killed Mr. McMahon. But now we have the Titan Clash Crumble of... I, I fucked up that title. That's not what it's called. It's an Extreme Rules Tag Team match, which Godzilla and Kong took the victory from. And the Mystery Royal Rumble. That's where Cosmic carry you. That's Minecraft Steve. And the victor of that was, of course, Peter Griffin. And finally, the Kenobi Mania Code of Real Person Survive Grudge Match Main Event was taken by Johnny Cage, claiming it for the Kodoro Person Survive team, and then two extra people showed up, Green Arrow and fucking, um, what's his name? Other evil Kenobi. So, Kenobi lost one, but then he won another one. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck is this? Uh, no, 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 don't look at this, there's nothing else. It's, it's over, it's over, it's, there's nothing else. Ugh. <sighs> So, uh, now that Johnny won against you, kid, do you want to replace him with John claude Van Damme? No, 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 all the footage was already, uh, filmed for the Kodoro Person Survive series, so, uh... Yeah, that, that's, that's settled. That's not, nothing's happening with that. But, ladies and gentlemen, this was Kenobi Mania. Thank you all for watching. Uh... I'm very happy I was able to pull this off, and, uh... Yeah, this is very fun. There's not more to... Oh. I accidentally played the outro twice. Anyway, this gives me more time to thank everybody. Thank you everyone that showed up. Thank you everyone that commented. Thank you for everyone that sat through the ads. Thank you for everyone that participated in all the jokes and uh, episodes and all the uh, teasers I put out this week. This was the big thing. This was it. I'm very glad this Kenobi Mania happened. And next year's Kenobi Mania, I'm going to have your participation um, and your people, uh, your creative characters involved in the Royal Rumble match. So, I'm very looking forward to next year's to Kenobi Mania 2025. Oh, Alright, everyone, I'll see you later. Thank you all.